Welcome conspirators. Today we are playing The Town of Light. The Town of Light is based on real events, places and research concerning mental illness and the life of patients in lunatic asylums from the beginning of the 20th century until their closure. It contains stories which may be disturbing. The characters and names are fictitious and any reference to people living or dead is purely coincidental. This game uses an artistic interpretation of a former Italian psychiatric institution for dramatic purposes. Please note that mental health services have radically improved around the world. If you think you may have psychological problems, please speak to a local doctor or specialist. Volterra, 1942? I don't know if I said that right. What's happened? What is this place? Maybe. Maybe I'm dead. I can't see any light. Maybe I am dead. I can't get up. What's going on? What's happening to me? There's no one here. But these noises. can't keep my eyes open. Reality fades away and my skin has gone. Every breath of wind is excruciatingly painful. Really? I'm wondering if this is just her from being like locked up in the asylum for so long. So I can only imagine like what that does to a person. So I guess we're playing as a girl named Renee. And other than that, I don't really know too much else about this game. I just read the back of the, the case and that's it. It's like, man, this is a long loading screen. Please wait. It's like, what is this preparing us for here? <laughs> this is pretty dramatic. Volterra, Tuscany, 2016. I don't know, am I saying that right, Volterra? All right. Um, so if it wants us to go this way, so naturally let's do the exact opposite. There's like some hidden items back here or something. Let's see. Do I have a experience, diary, memories, medical records? Oh, this is cool. So we get like a little diary. Interesting. Oh, I see. It looks like there's some pages missing in the diary. Okay, so let's let's not look at that anymore. I think we gotta find pages of the diary and then we can look at it all. Um, hmm. Can I take this tire? Because I really like to run. I can't tell. Is this... I don't think you can run here. I'm trying to. Is this as fast as she'll walk? Yeah. Yeah, that's as fast as she'll go, guys. Anything back here? <laughs> Shopping cart. Oh, can I take this rake? 
Ah, looks like herbology class is closed today. No mandrake roots. It's unfortunate. Hose. Yeah, I can't click on anything. Yeah, I don't know. So we'll continue forward here. Graphics are pretty decent. I was like, I'm just not sure. Wait, open and close. Okay. Like, I'm not really sure what type of game this is. Like, I don't know if there's monsters we got to battle. I have absolutely no idea. Oh, I got a flashlight. Oh, wait, toggle. Okay. That's promising. Yeah, let's uh let's close that back up just in case. I know I'd feel a lot better if it would let me pick up like a shovel or something so I can defend myself. Bottle. Nope. Radio. Zoom. Wait, why is it letting me pick this up if I can't do anything to it? Nothing on the back. Uh, maybe I gotta find like a cassette. Yeah, yeah, it won't let me do anything. Ooh. Eh, better not eat any of that. Let's see, first food rationing improvements. Extra kilogram per month of your soup products. Uh, okay. What's this? Incredible anti aircraft victory. 159 aircraft shot down in 24 hours by the German Continental Air Defense. Major Russian operation northwest of Jassy. Enemy convoy scattered in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. I wonder if this is like a time of war here. Fierce murder. Okay. Possible political motive emerges. Hell and faith, mother. House of April 13th. Okay. Well, oh. so these are just random articles, I guess. So are we looking for. A cassette tape to play in that thing. I better save flashlight battery. You can just like imagine something running at me right now. I'm like, what do I do? Got nothing to defend myself with. Yeah, let's close that up. Jesus. Let's see 
What does that say? The increasing number of cases of attempted suicide requires that a definite stand to be taken against this behavior. Our current position is to consider these behaviors as highly deviant, disgraceful, and unpatriotic. Especially in the case of young girls, please provide us with enlightenment on the subject. A eligible signature. Now, so I can zoom. What's that say? It's like it says like Rubio as the signature. I can't tell. Oh my wow. Flashlight time. Toilet. Why are there oh, there's always a toilet, man? Can I go to bed? Oh, it looks like somebody was living down here. It's, uh, perhaps we should go before they come back. There ain't nothing else in here. Fuck it. So I wonder if we turn, what does the power do in here? Like, there's nothing to... Hmm. I don't know. Nothing in the trash can. Okay, I can't go that way. Oh, there's two sets of stairs. Oh, answers that question. Go this way. This place. Time. Memory. Oh, this is going to be fun to explore. Is this the main entrance right there? Is there anything else? Oh, wait, there's another door here, though. Go in. Which way should I go? Well, this is barred down. Okay. I wish I could run. What is this? Oh, it's a map. Let's see. You are here. Okay. So we're in the waiting room. Okay. Like, take this with me. Are you kidding? There's no power. Alright, so what is that? The calm woman ward? So I gotta turn the power on? Uh, where's the Calm Woman Ward. I don't even see that on the map. Although number three is just blank. Three is like right next to us over there. Hey, let's go see what that is, I guess. It's the Observation Ward, Tranquil Ward. Yeah, I don't see the Women Ward, so I don't know. No, there ain't nothing in here. Take that money. What's this? Telegram. Volterra on Podesta. Please kindly notify any relatives of death of blank, inviting them to cover burial expenses, failing which corpse will be sent to PISA for study purposes, cost 100. Director S. Oh, that's kind of cool. This kind of looks like the uh, postcards that were in the video game case I got. And, you know, that's really cool. I really love it when, you know, the game makers, developers, they, like, put extra stuff in the case. Like, nowadays, like, they don't even have a booklet in the cases for the newer games. Let's see. Psychiatric Hospital Administration... 
it looks like it's just logging like what the patients bring in with them. Okay. That's the scissors. Okay. Yeah, can I take that? Hmm. Wait, what is Psychiatric Hospital Administrative File of Amara, admitted June 15th, 1937, transferred, died November 8th, 1979. Damn, she was in here for a while then. Francesca, that's fun to say. Francesca, marital status widow, admitted 1916. Respiratory disease. Okay, looks like we're just getting some patient background info here. What is this? Nothing. I know there's something in there. Let me open it. Let some fresh air in, you know. What is this? Province of Rome, death report. I'm not even going to attempt to try and pronounce that name. Juliana Dina, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Nothing. Okay. Well. The only thing I remember clearly is Charlotte, my doll. Charlotte? Oh, here's another map. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, me. Can't get out. What do I do here? Did that turn power on? I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I guess everything's good. Close that up here. Nobody says we can't. Let's find Charlotte. Let's find Charlotte. Okay. Well, word to come. Oh, so this is the calm one. Let's find Charlotte. She's alone. I'm She's alone in the dark. I'm trying to. Can I get in? Yeah, it won't let me do anything else. Do I gotta push that button? Hmm. Locked. Oh, okay. I mean, I gotta find a key then. What went on in here? Postcards. Looks like photos. Flashlight off. Looks like it's just pictures of the asylum here. Is that it? Yeah. Hmm. What the hell's that? Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not ready to go up there yet. Still exploring down here. What's this? I don't see a key yet. Wait, do we have 
Let's search the wards on the upper floor. There's a plan on the wall which shows their location. Shows their location? What are you talking about? Who's there? Uh, Irene, 26 years old. Woman is in a state of great agitation. She curses her three-year-old daughter for having ruined her life. Like, damn. She wanted to take us away. Wanted to kill us. She's the devil, I tell you. She's the devil herself. She's destroyed my ability to give life. The mother explains that to her husband, Erich. Worried about her daughter. Called a doctor who, noticing the state of the woman, the potential danger to her daughter, urgently initiated the procedure for admission. The woman was admitted to observations in the single room, not because she was dangerous, but in view of her social class. It seemed the most appropriate choice. The mother has provided a generous donation to this institution in order to find a more suitable accommodation for her daughter. Hmm. That's where I came in, right? Is, no. What does this say? Ward one observation. No, no, she's freezing. She's alone. Let's look for her. Okay, she wanted us to go upstairs, so I guess that's what we'll do. I think we're done exploring this area. I think, yeah, we already in here. Now elevator or this I'm gonna try taking the stairs first I don't know if I trust that elevator wait just goes up here ah so the lights are working now that's good So what are we trying to find? Her doll, Charlotte? Let's find Charlotte. She's alone. She's alone in the dark. I'm trying to, man. Patient transfer document, psychiatric hospital, transfer file, Fanti Clement, paternity Luigi, 37 years old, deceased at 6 p.m. 1942. Okay. What is? Oh, wow. Goodness, a little bit of chopping this dude's hand off. Is that for like, wait, radiocarpal? Is that for like carpal tunnel syndrome? They just sh cut your hand off? Good God, man. What is this? Wait, what? Is this actually like doing anything? Hmm. I don't think this is doing anything. There's some more posters over here. What's that? Charlotte, you back here? No. What is... Oh, good God, look at all those instruments, man. I actually can see it better without the light. Hmm. 
interesting artwork. All right, where did I came up here? Let's go this way. Charlotte, where are you? Ugh. Wait, what? Yeah, how's the same poster in the other room? Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to, uh, stay in this uh, hospital here for a visit or not. Yeah, seems kind of, uh, kind of bad. All right, where? Is that a key? Can't take it. Renee doesn't want to abandon her. Nobody says we can't. Let's find Charlotte. I'm trying to find Charlotte. I don't know where to look for her. I thought I've been in every room, haven't I? It's the elevator. What's this? That's the same room I was just in. Been in here. Hmm. She like under the bed? What is that? No. It's like a teddy bear under there. No, no, she's freezing. She's alone. Let's look for her. I don't know where else to go. Do I gotta take the elevator? Maybe, let me just try taking the elevator. Maybe that triggers something. that do anything? Hmm. You gotta turn all the lights on? Uh, let me see. That's... I don't even know, like, how am I even supposed to, like, save this game? Or does it, like, auto-save? I don't know. I have no idea. Is this new? Ah, here we go. Like, where was this room this whole time? Is that Charlotte? Mummy took good care of Charlotte. She tucked her in, hugged her, gave her cuddles and kisses. She was very affectionate and loving. Nothing bad happened to Charlotte. That surprised me. I didn't understand. At first, I was quite scared. I was afraid that she wanted to hurt me. I lived in constant fear that Mom would abandon her. Because I didn't deserve to live. I didn't deserve to be loved. It's cold and it's dark. Look, she's cold. She'll get ill. We can take care of her. Nobody can stop us. Charlotte is a good girl. A synopsis menu. Okay. Mother. Okay. Experiences. Charlotte. Oh, it's just recapping, like, what she said out loud. Okay. Got it. All right, chapter two. Wait, am I just carrying this doll around with me now? <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, guys, uh, I guess end of chapter one, and we'll start chapter two here and the next one. Uh, until then, stay charming.